given. Let us discuss this example of double integration. So we have a double integration and where the region is bounded by y is equal to x square, y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 0. So they have mentioned in a bracket region lies in first quadrant only. So let us try to find the region first. After that, we will solve the double integration. So given region is bounded by y is equal to x square. So you know that when you have equation where power of one variable is one and power of second variable is two, 101% it is parabola. So this is a parabola we have. Power of y is one. So that's why parabola is symmetric about y axis. And that y has plus sign. That's why parabola is symmetric about positive y axis. So the parabola will be like this. So let me mention that thing here. A parabola symmetric about symmetric about positive y axis positive y axis so i will draw a parabola here okay which is symmetric about positive y axis so the parabola will be like this okay it will be like this after that what is the second curve we have y is equal to 4 so you know that this is equation of line which is parallel to x axis and passes through y is equal to 4. So I, I will mention here a line parallel to x axis. Okay, so I will draw a line here parallel to x axis, which is passes through y is equal to 4. So this is y is equal to 4 we have. Next last one, x is equal to 0, which is y axis. Okay, so what we have x is equal to 0. So the region is bounded by parabola region is bounded by y is equal to 4 as well as x is equal to 0 which is y axis so that means uh, these two regions satisfy both conditions these two regions bounded by parabola line and y axis but see in a bracket they have mentioned region in first quadrant only that means this is region of integration so we have to consider this region to solve the double integration okay which lies in first quadrant okay so we are not considering a region which lies in second quadrant i will cons we will focus only on first quadrant after that we are interested to find the point of intersection of that parabola and that line so you do you know that how to find point of intersection that technique is very simple we put equation of one curve in equation of second curve by solving we get a point of intersection let us do that i will mention to find points of intersection points of intersection i will mention here to find points of intersection we put okay i'm going to put what i'm going to put its equation y is equal to 4 in equation of this parabola y is equal to x square in y is equal to x square let us see what will happen so we have a space i'm going to use it so I'm putting y is equal to 4. So 4 is equal to x square. So obviously x is equal to plus minus 2. Getting x is equal to plus minus 2. So therefore points are points are x is 2 getting and uh, y is 4. So this is the first point and second x is minus 2 and y is 4. So that means this is 2 comma 4 getting so x is 2 y is 4. And this is minus 2 comma 4. So these are two points of intersection. But we are more interested in that point. So after that, we have two choices. We have to consider a strip. Either we can consider a strip parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis. So most of the times we consider a strip parallel to y axis. So here also I will do the same. Make a screenshot of it. After that, I will go further. See, after that, we consider a strip. Okay, so I have shown that strip in a diagram. So I have considered a strip parallel to y axis. We are supposed to write that thing here, which I already mentioned. So when we have a strip parallel to y axis, we write these sentences. Y varies from, first we write the limits of y since our strip is parallel to y axis. Y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to, and after that, x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to. So we have a simple technique to find limits okay of integration so that my funda is bounded below bounded above left to right okay what did i say bounded below bounded above left to right let us find so strip is bounded below so strip is bounded below by this curve see when you find 
bounded below and bounded above see focus on the curves okay so which curves we have and when you say left to right that time we have to consider a corner point since we have to cover each and every point so what is happening this three p is moving from left to right and it is trying to cover the entire region of integration so this is the actual theory behind it okay so what did i tell you bounded below above left to right three p is bounded below by this curve y is equal to x square so y i have already written so simply i will write x square after that bounded below after that bounded above three p is bounded above by y is equal to four so i should write y is equal to four after that bounded below above left to right left in left strip will move like this and at this line strip will stop it cannot come on this side of the line because the region of integration will be over there getting so here value of x is zero okay after that strip will move in right hand side okay it will move like this and it should go up to this point since it has to cover the entire region of integration so strip will go up to this point that will be the last point of a strip so at that point value of x since i we want the value of x here so at that point value of x is 2 you can see there so that's why x is equal to 2 as i told you earlier when you find bounded below and bounded above that time you have to consider curves and when you move from left to right that time you have to consider each and every point and every corner also so that's why when you move on that side it should cover that corner also so at that corner point value of x is 2 so i i wrote 2 here let us go further. So in this way, we got the limits of integration. I is equal to what we have double integration f over s, right? So double integration, what is my f? You can easily see here, my f is 4x square y, 4x square y. I should write dy first dx later, since my strip is parallel to y axis. When you consider a strip par is parallel to x axis, that time you should write dx first dy later. So dy first, that means I should write limits of y here. What are limits of y? x square to 4. Next, limits of x, limits of x from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. So after that, we have to solve this integration. Okay, but there is no more space to solve. So make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So let us continue. I have written the integration here. So first of all, we have to integrate with respect to y. 4 is a constant will come outside integration 0 to 2 inner integration is with respect to y so all functions of x will come outside so here x square will come outside and simply x square to 4 y dy and outer integration with respect to x let us integrate so 4 integration 0 to 2 x square integration of y is y square by 2 right so x square 4 dx simply i am solving the integration after that we have to put upper limit lower limit see this 1 by 2 is a constant i am taking it outside so 2 2 will get cancelled 2 0 to 2 x square i am putting upper limit 4 square 16 minus x square square x raised to 4 dx this thing we have right let us continue now so 2 outside integration 0 to 2 we have to solve this bracket first then we will integrate so it is 16 x square minus x raised to 6 dx okay so this thing we have 16 x square minus x raised to 6 after that we have to integrate so it's very simple 2 16 is constant integration of x square is x cube by 3 integration of x raised to 6 is x raised to 7 by 7 with limits 0 to 2 after that we have to put upper limit lower limit so 2 i am putting upper limit 2 here so 2 cube so that means 16 into 8 divided by 3 minus here 2 raised to 7 divided by 7 right so if i put 0 we will have 0 so minus 0 we will have so simply we have to solve this problem okay make a screenshot of it after that we will solve it further so let us continue so this is equal to 1 by 2 okay so this is 16 into 8 it's 128 divided by 3 2 raised to 7 is 128 divided by 7 okay what will i do 128 i will take common so 2 into 
128 in bracket 1 by 3 minus 1 by 7. So, this is 256 okay, into after cross multiplying 7 minus 3, 4 by 21. So, let me simplify it. So, what will you get? 4 and uh, 2, 1, 0, right? Yes, by 21. So, this is a required answer. Make a screenshot of it. After that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.